Now this one is uh, a variety of woods, bloodwood, uh, uh, maple, and uh, East Indian rosewood, which is this dark, but it's in, the dark is inlaid in there. But when you open the lid, the inlay is buried inside. It doesn't show when you open the lid. Erwin Hobden is a true craftsman yeah, and is proud to show off some of his fine woodworking he has created recently. Many are one of a kind. I try not to be repetitious in the things I do. I try and make every design slightly different, even though they might be the same size box or the card box or whatever it is, they will still be distinctively different. So they come a bit of a collector's items in. This is one of the music stands that I designed about uh, 15 years ago. And uh, I've now built 115 of them. Many people in the Okanagan have come to know Irwin for his handiwork. But what they may not know is that Irwin makes all these things with power tools, although he is almost completely blind. Okay, now I don't have to look and try and find lines or anything like that. I simply start the saw up now and it's going to cut it exactly where I want it. And I keep my fingers well out of the way. I've always messed with wood, even since I was a teenager. I always was building something on the farm where I grew up, even boats. It is so rewarding. And he's used his maple mallet on thousands of projects over the years. I will put it back where it belongs, and if I put everything back where it belongs, then I can find it again. Persevering through blindness, Irwin has adapted his workshop with innovations allowing him to measure things precisely with only 2% vision. And there we are, 0 0.3. Nine, zero. While he was still sighted, he spent years as an automotive machinist, which taught him to think differently. People who only know the right way of doing it and the wrong way are concrete people. But there's a third way of doing it right, and that's where you become abstract. And it opens your mind to doing things that you don't think were possible before, because now there's more than one way of doing something. And that was the first thing that uh, crossed my mind when I lost my eyesight in 1996, that I'm not going to give up my woodworking. Now I've got to find the other way of doing it without eyesight. And I've given up very little. I'd say nothing's impossible. <laughs> and I also do motivational speaking for CNIB, where people have lost their eyesight or losing their eyesight say, come on, it's, you don't give up. You just got to find new ways of doing things. Nothing's impossible. When you, somebody says it's impossible to me, I say, you just said the wrong thing, and I'll prove that there is a way of doing it. Irwin is one of a hundred crafters featured at the annual Santa Presents Craft Fair at the Penticton Trade and Convention Center, where partial proceeds support the South Okanagan Medical Foundation. For Go Okanagan, I'm Wayne McDougall.